vídeo novo no ar, interrompemos a programação Vlogs na Europa. Vamos interromper essa programação pra uma coisa muito especial, que é, você já viu aí no título, eu, Mac Nóbrega, entrevistei os atores de Succession. Gente, a HBO me convidou. Mac, você tem interesse? Eu falei, tenho. Achei que nunca ia rolar. De repente, rolou. Eu conversei com Sarah Snook, que faz a Shiv, Nicholas Brown, que faz o primo Greg, e Kieran Culkin, que faz o Roman Roy. E assim, gente, nunca imaginei. Nunca tinha participado de um negócio assim. Já tinha visto vários, né, na época, da época da Capricho e tal. Mas eu nunca tinha participado participado de uma junket, que é esse evento, enfim, que eles ficam lá respondendo perguntas de jornalistas e pessoas do mundo todo em sequência. E foi legal, foi legal. Ontem estreou Succession, a última temporada, a quarta temporada. Ontem, não do dia que eu tô gravando, né? Ontem do dia que vocês estão assistindo. Porque do dia que eu tô gravando ainda não estreou, mas eu já vi o primeiro episódio. E vamos ver o que vem por aí, né? Vamos ver, não vou dar spoilers aqui, por favor. Tem muitos spoilers, na verdade, do primeiro episódio. Mas é a temporada final da série, a história vai acabar. E vamos ver o que, que vai acontecer com a família Roy, né? Eu tô aqui, ó. Fiz as entrevistas bebendo água no meu copinho de Waystar Royco que eu tenho aí. Vocês lembram disso aqui? Que a HBO me mandou há anos. E é isso. Roda entrevistas! Hi, Sarah! Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. So I watched the first episode of the final season and it felt a bit more emotional. I mean, even Logan. My question is, are we finally going to see some feelings from the Roys other than anger? Yeah, I think I think that's probably pretty accurate. I think uh, certainly for Shiv, she's coming in with dealing with a lot of feelings that she doesn't want to have to deal with. You know, their usual ways of, of pushing things to the side or suppressing or defending or getting angry or getting funny to bite back at somebody aren't necessarily going to work, you know? So they're going to have to face some some tough emotions. Uh, speaking of feelings, uh, Tom tells Shiv at the end of season two that he's unhappy most of the time. So yeah. a bit of an existential question. Is Shiv happy? Does that matter to her? I don't think it matters to her. I think she's, she's someone who... If asked, she would say, yeah, she's happy, but also I'm not happy, but who is? I think she doesn't uh, expect happiness nor nor chase it in a way that is healthy. I think her, her, her way of sort of feeling happy would be to be the most successful, the most uh, powerful, the one on top. But yeah, I mean, we all know that if she did, she wouldn't necessarily be happy. <laughs> And there'd be something else to be yeah. pissed off about. I watched the first episode of season four, The Stevens. You haven't? Oh, come on, you have. I haven't. No, I haven't seen it. You haven't? No. Okay, so I have. Tonight. So Roman, Shiv and uh, Kendall are more united than ever. But knowing them, I don't think that's gonna last, is it? Watch the show. Watch episode two. And oh, three. come on. I can't yet. Yeah. I'm curious. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break down the story of every episode for the season. Are you ready? I got four yeah, yeah, minutes. I'm ready. I'm gonna spoil Can I write it down? Part. Okay. How are you, Nicholas? Uh, did you say if I've been there? Did, no, did I said how are you, but no, oh, I said sorry. how are you, but sure, have you been here? No, I've never been there. You should I've come. wanted to go for a long time, so some someday. Don't tell the others, but Cousin Greg is my favorite character on the show. You He's should tell coming. the others today. You should tell okay. the other Okay, okay, I'll tell. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I spoke to Kieran, but I'll tell. Sure I'll make sure to tell Sarah, yeah. Okay. But he's, he's <clears throat> becoming a bit of a sleaze bag. Should I maybe change favorites, do you think? Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's really feeling himself. He's got Tom, you know, going through a bit of a separation type thing. I don't think it's like yeah. totally concrete what's happening between them, but, but Tom and Greg are feeling like, you know, the bad boys of New York right now, <laughs> the disgusting brothers. Brothers. And Such I think, a yeah. cool, cool, cool name to call yourself, right? The Disgusting Brothers. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope people really take that um, title on themselves, you know? Probably a lot of Disgusting Brothers out there in, in New York City. Uh, I don't know a lot of billionaires. Maybe they're all like that, but the Roy's are like the unhappiest billionaires I've ever seen. I mean, How do these people have... I, I, I don't know any billionaires. That's, okay, maybe they, they, they are, are all like the happiest that. you've ever seen. They are? Oh, yeah, probably. But the, do they ever relax? Do anything for fun, just go out for dinner and a movie? No, there's usually no time for that. Because like even when, you know, they go to, they go, they did the yacht thing. But that was for, that's a business retreat because they have to talk about something serious. But let's go somewhere that's nice. There's very few moments for them to actually enjoy this stuff. Yeah. 
They're always um, working. Always working, yeah. But I do wonder, because a lot of times, like these seasons, like season three, I forget, like there's an actual timeline, but it's in a very short span of time. Like each season doesn't usually go more than a couple weeks in a, in a time, but the seasons have been a couple of years. So yeah. there's all this time in between. We just tend to focus, like each season is sort of like when there happens to be a uh, sort of business crisis and a big shift. So when that happens, yes, of course, everyone's going to be stressed. Yeah. There's not going to be time to like go to the beach and do stuff. I would imagine that there's time here and there for things like vacation and stuff like that. I personally I hope so. feel, yeah, I personally feel like because everyone sort of comes up with their own, you know, back history or whatever. I personally feel like Roman doesn't really have a lot in terms of friends or people yeah. to hang out with. So he really only has the work people. So he doesn't have a family when it's time to go on vacation. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Who is he gonna call? Yeah, yeah. And Jerry, she's not gonna come. <laughs> I think she would. No, she would maybe want no. to, but she wouldn't come. No. <laughs> not professional, know. right? No, yeah. No, the Cayman Islands. Come on, Jerry. Let's go. <laughs> uh, she's a, a woman who's uh, surrounded mostly by men all the time, and she has no girlfriends, no mother figure really. And she's often used as a token, right? When they yeah. want to speak with two women. But she doesn't really seem to mind. Would you agree with that? I think she minds in a way that it uh, fuels her, but she doesn't let it get her down. I don't think she's um, wallowing in it at all. I think she's very much using it as energy to, to sort of pursue her ambitions. So one of my favorite Greg moments is when he's about to ask out Comfrey at Kendall's birthday party with the line, you're like a fascinating book I'd like to crack open. What would you say is Greg's favorite book. Has he ever read any? <laughs> <laughs> no, Greg, Greg can't read. He he listens to audiobooks. Okay. So Roman once said, and I quote, firing people is 85% of why I get up in the morning. So what's the other 15%? Jerry, getting up to do it again okay. the next day. I think a happy ending for Shiv is not working at Waystar Royco. That's what I'm rooting for. You obviously know how the story ends. Were you happy with where Shiv ended up? I was happy, yes, because it's like, a, it's an ending that the audience will feel is, is satisfying and and not satisfying at the same time. I think I think you can't ever with with characters who feel like they live on beyond every season. At the end of a series, you still have to feel like they're going to live on in the ways that yeah. they are that we have seen them so far as well. Is there going to be a resolution? Is that useful? Who knows? Like I don't think that Jesse is always has ever chased growth and resolution in these characters. I think he's chased uh, what is the tension of the character. And they are tense, right, all the time. They are. <laughs> Always on yeah. edge. What's the biggest uh, misconception you think people have about Greg? What do people think about him that would be confusing? I mean, I think people think that he doesn't know what he's doing, but I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I think he knows what he's doing too. I think he plays 20%, maybe 40% dumber than he is. Okay. You're quite disarming when you're a little bit dense, let's go. So yeah. Let's not, let's yeah. not say stupid. Um, no, yeah, no, a little not bit stupid. Dense. Yeah, you're a little yeah. like clueless and you know, I'm naive. Not sure. yeah. yeah, what what are we doing? Well, I don't know, you know. And and I think that that's a nice way in. But he's he also like kind of doesn't know that much about this world too. So he is learning, but I think he plays it up. It's a good strategy. What what do you think is the biggest misconception that people think have about Shiv? Oh, that she doesn't have emotions or feelings at all, maybe. I think she does, yeah. that she just is very good at suppressing them and 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 personally ignoring them as well. But she she definitely feels them, but she's got good defense mechanisms around to sort of protect herself. Do you think there's like a, a an insult that she would hear from Roman or Logan or Kendall that would make her walk away for good? It would have to do so have to be with something to do with like her femininity or something like that that is although maybe that would just make her fight harder. I don't know. It would it would have to be something pretty strong for for her to turn around and tail between her legs. Yeah, because they've said ambition. some pretty strong things about yeah. her femininity, right? And she keeps coming yeah, back. Like the token woman and all that kind of stuff, you know, yes. and she still didn't give up. So last thing, can Chief please let Mondale out of that cage? <laughs> please <laughs> Come on! I think she, if she was asked to let him out of the cage, would say, would claim something like she was allergic to dogs. I don't oh, think she on. has such a, I know, the dog actor, Ditto, yeah. is such a sweet, sweet puppy dog. He, I love him. He's actually in, um, in Severance as well. 
as the dog. He is, is really. Yeah, there's a crossover oh, there that we didn't know. Yeah. He yeah, I just wanted to see him destroy that apartment. You know, just <laughs> know. Yeah. eat the sofa and eat her shoes, but she yeah. can't. Yeah. Thank you, Nicholas. I'll make sure to come to your sandwich shop. Thank yes, you. Yes, please do. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you. Bye. Oh, Sarah, thank you so much. We love Succession here in Brazil. It's a great <laughs> show, and just have a, a fun final season. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the season. Yeah. Yes, I will. Thank you. Great.